The regime's pro-terrorist, anti-American, anti-Israeli rhetoric only underscores the urgency of our response to the threat we face. U.S. policy must be clear and unequivocal. We cannot, we should not, we must not permit Iran to build or acquire nuclear weapons. And in dealing with this threat, as I have said for a very long time, no option can be taken off the table. But Iran is a threat not only because of the hateful rhetoric spewed by its president, not only because of its nuclear ambitions, but because it uses its influence and its revenues in the region to support terrorist elements that are attacking innocent Israelis. And now we believe attacking American soldiers. Senator Hillary Clinton speaking February 1st at a dinner organized by APAC, the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. Ann Miller is the director of New Hampshire Peace Action, also joining us from Manchester. Welcome to Democracy Now, Ann. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Talk about your involvement now with uh, these town hall meetings of Senator Clinton, of Barack Obama. Yes, over the weekend, Senator Clinton spoke in Berlin, Concord, and Keene, and there were, there were members of, of our community who were attending, obviously, all of those events. I went to hear Senator Clinton speak in Concord and was not called on during, during the meeting, but afterwards approached the senator and asked her about the comments that she'd made at the APAC meeting earlier in the week and asked her if she really would leave all options on the table and how, how could she threaten, in effect, other countries' children with nuclear genocide. She looked me right in the eye and she said, no options are off the table. We cannot abide by a nuclear-armed Iran. It would be an existential threat to the United States. And what I found really interesting in that comment and that use of the word existential is that isn't a word that's used very much in U.S. political discourse, but it is used in Israel's political discourse. And it's a, that's a deep concern to me that we have a Democratic presidential candidate who is a militarist, of, of this nature and that she isn't coming out and saying we need we need strong diplomatic action with Iran which is really the only answer military there are no military solutions with respect to Iran that I can see you 